went to give way at a roundabout in Australia? There are several answers to this particular question, but in this video, I will address one of the most commonly asked questions asked by one of our viewers. What if on the roundabout, the car on my right is giving way to the car on its right, so do I have to wait for both cars to pass and then proceed? In this video, you will see a few examples when you don't need to give way to the traffic from your right-hand side if you have traffic exiting and shielding your path. This is a perfect example. The blue car is clearly exiting and we can judge easily by the speed of the vehicle. If they were turning right, they would have to slow down significantly and that would be so easy to notice. So in this situation, we don't give way to the silver SUV, providing that you don't hesitate for too long. If you don't execute this, properly you will lose points for flow. In the next scenario you will see how much the vehicle slows down if they intend to turn because it's a sharp turn. As I approach this roundabout I can tell that the second vehicle is turning because they slow down significantly. That's no brainer. So the answer to our viewers question is no you don't have to wait every time. So it will depend whether the vehicle that's coming from the opposite or turning which was the case in the scenario with the blue car. If that vehicle is exiting you can proceed. I'm approaching around about this storm and I can tell from the distance that there is traffic proceeding straight through shielding my path despite the fact that I would have to give way to the white ute on my right hand side I can certainly take opportunity to take it as long as I don't hesitate for too long if you pay attention now to the car on my left hand side you will notice that I'm shielding the path of the traffic that's coming from the opposite direction which means that they can proceed I'm clearly making a u-turn in this roundabout and this time again I'm going to be a shield to the traffic from the opposite. The ute on the left hand side is waiting for me to get through, allowing enough time for cars to proceed. Roundabouts are great intersections. They are maintenance free and they work 24-7. By the way this is how you change lanes properly. You've got to check your mirror, you've got to indicate and check your blind spot. Don't reduce your speed significantly if there's no one in front of you. Otherwise in your driving test you're going to lose points for flow. Back to roundabouts. It's so easy to intercept if there's anyone turning your direction. So anticipate roundabouts and any giveaway intersections from the distance. You don't get there and then check. You've got to check it at least about 25, 30 meters prior and keep checking on your way towards the intersection. By the way, if you have the slightest doubt, don't proceed because doubt takes a couple of seconds. If there's a vehicle traveling towards you at 30 kilometers an hour, in two seconds time, they will travel about 16 and a half meters. I hope that this video will provide you with a broader perspective on roundabouts in general and adequate knowledge on how to treat different situations. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.